Man, this geography is really hard. I can't figure out theorem 10.3. Well, let's try the triangle. Mr. Stevenson, you're here. Hi. I'm here to help you never give up on that. Really? So I heard you were having some troubles with 10.3. Yes, well, sir. you know what? I'm here to help you. So the first thing we have to do is like start it. So we're going to have to draw a circle. Okay. Now that I've whipped out my handy dandy notebook, we're ready to get started. Okay. So, 10.3 um, states that in a circle, if a diameter or a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord. And now, I'm going to have to explain this because, you know, I don't trust anyone, so I need to know if this is actually true. Okay. Let's start off our two column proof. So we have our statement and our reason. So our first thing that we have to write down is our givens, right? Because you know we're give, they're given to us. So we know that line segment BA is uh, perpendicular to line segment TV, and we know that the measure of angle B U V is 90 degrees. You know, actually, I don't think this teaching thing is going to work out for me, you know, too much writing, so, you know, I think I'm done. Oh, there you go. It's right there. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I created two auxiliary lines that end up being radii of the circle, and so those are equal because that's the definition of ra all radii are exactly the same length. And the next thing I did is that I said that angle, the measure of angle T U B is the same as, as the measure of angle C U B, uh, to V, sorry, V U B, because um, that's the definition of um, supplementary angles, is that you see if there's 90 on this side, then there's going to be 90 on that side. And then the next thing I did is I used the reflexive property, because you see this, this line, it's uh, it's um, line VC, you're in UC, sorry, it's line UC. And line UC is used in both triangles. And so I said that it was equal to each other in both triangles. And so that way you have a side, a side, and then an angle on both that are exactly the same. That's how you know that it's a, because that's one of the rules to make it a congruent triangle. And then I said that line segment TU is the same as line segment UV because congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that's the explanation of this. Now we'll go on to an example. Okay, so here's the example question. So I just wrote a little bit of a little note up here. And it said, a diameter or, or radius, if it's perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the chord and its corresponding arc. So now that we're reminded of that, let's start the example question. And the example question is, if the radius of circle Y is 34 and the length of line AB is 60, and the measure of arc AC is 71. Find each measure. So let's find the measure of arc BC. So that's this arc right here. Hmm. So, so we know that angle of AC is 71, and we know that this bisects, that means cut it in perfectly in two, of the, of the chord and its corresponding arc. So that means we can assume that the arc BC equals 71. Because it's the same thing, right? They're congruent? Yes, they are congruent. Okay, and so now I'm going to explain how we find the measure of line AD. And so we know that line AB equals 60, and we uh, know that this radius bisects this chord, so cut it, cuts it equally in two. So we know that this would equal 30, because it's just 60 divided by 2. So it would be half, right? Exactly, Nathan. You're a good student. Okay, now for the measure of arc, for the arc AB. So that's that one right there. And we know that AC equals 71, and we know uh, BC equals 71. So you just add those, it'd be 142. And for the last one, find measure of BD. 
And like we said, we know that this bisects this, so it cuts it equally in two, and we know that AB is 60, so this would be 30 as well. So that means that me the measure of line, line segment AD is the same as the measure of line segment BD, which means they're congruent. And that's the example. And hopefully, students, you have figured out how to do this today. Or if not, I should be fired. Okay. Thank you. Peace out, you. Professor Simpson. You're welcome.